Have you ever felt the sharp sting of betrayal, like a glass unexpectedly shattering at your feet? That jolt, that sudden clarity of being let down by someone you trusted, isn't just a fleeting emotion. It's a lesson in discernment, a call to understand the delicate dance of trust. Trust. It's the invisible thread that connects us in every relationship. Think about it. Whether you're chatting with a friend, working on a team, or even just sharing a smile with someone in the grocery store, trust is always in play. Today I'm going to unravel a crucial truth with you. It's about deciphering the intricate patterns of this web understanding people and pinpointing who truly deserves your trust and respect. This journey isn't about casting shadows of judgment. It's about arming yourself with wisdom and guarding your we. Well-being in a world where your peace should be sacred in this video will navigate the murky waters of human interactions, introducing you to nine types of people who might seem trustworthy but could actually be undermining your journey to greatness. This is not about creating walls or living in suspicion. It's about being smart, being aware, and valuing your peace of mind. Stoicism teaches us the importance of understanding the intentions and actions of others, guiding us to make informed decisions about who we led into our lives as we walk through these types, inspired by Stoic principles. You'll see, it's not just about avoiding the bad, it's about embracing the good and making choices that align with a life of respect and integrity. Let's dive in and discover how to navigate the complex world of trust. Trust with the clarity and confidence of a 21st century Stoic one. The manipulative individual trust is like handing someone a pen to sketch your portrait in the right hands. It's a masterpiece, but in the wrong. Well, let's just say you might not recognize yourself now. Let's talk about the manipulative individual, one of those nine people who frankly shouldn't be trusted with even crayon. When it comes to your life's canvas, these crafty characters are experts in painting. Illusions making it seem like they're on your side, but really they're just sketching out their own agendas. Remember, trust is a two-way street, but manipulators treat it like a one-way express lane to their own goals. They're like magicians distracting you with one hand while the other picks your pocket. It's tricky because they often wear a mask of charm and understand standing, but don't be fooled like a chameleon. They change colors to suit their environment, but unlike these harmless reptiles, Manipulators change facts, stories, and even emotions to gain control, protecting yourself from this. Artful dodger means being a bit of a detective. Keep an eye out for inconsistencies, half-truths, and that nagging feeling in your gut that something's off. It's not about being paranoid, but about being smart and aware. And if you do catch them in their act, well, it's time to show them the exit door from your life stage as the stoic philosopher. Epictetus wisely said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Listen carefully to what's not being said, to the silences between words, the pauses between promises. That's where the truth often hides in the unspoken, so equip yourself with the shield of awareness and the sword of discernment. In the end, your emotional well-being isn't just a priority, it's a necessity. And sometimes walking away from those who misuse your trust is the bravest and wisest thing you can do. Remember, you're the artist of your life. Don't let a manipulator hold the brush to the constant critic in the marketplace of human connections. Trust is a currency more valuable than gold. Consider the constant critic always armed with a barrage of judgments. This person, much like a glitch in your favorite game, disrupts the harmony around trusting them is like entrusting your secrets to a leaking vessel. The critic's words, often harsher than necessary, are a mirror reflecting their own insecurities, not your worth. Their criticisms, seemingly endless, are like rain on a parade, dampening spirits and trust alike. Let's bring a dash of lightheartedness to the mix. Shall we picture the constant critic as a self-appointed judge in the courtroom of life where everyone is guilty until proven innocent? They wield their gavel of judgment with the enthusiasm of a chef over salting a stew, trusting them. It's like expecting a cat not to pounce on a laser pointer and exercise in futility. Now humor aside, the Stoics had it right. As Marcus Aulius wisely said, 
the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. So when you encounter the constant critic, remember their words are not a true measure of your worth. Stepping back from such characters is akin to choosing a serene path over a tumultuous one. It's not, not about proving them wrong, but about not allowing their noise to disrupt your inner peace. Their criticism, a mere background chatter, should not be the soundtrack of your life's journey. Trust in yourself and choose your confidence wisely. For in the end, it's your journey, not theirs, that defines you. Three, the superficially friendly are the ever-smiling charmer gliding through crowds with an ease that defies gravity, with their infectious laughter and an endless reservoir of how are you. They are the social butterflies of our time. But let's pause and ponder for not all that glitters as gold. These masters of the social scene while painting the town read with their camaraderie might just be artists of illusion. Their smiles as broad as the horizon could merely be. Masks hiding a quest for popularity. Like sands, they change colors blending seamlessly into any crowd. But remember, a true friend is one who walks in when the rest of the world walks out. Not the one who's merely a passing cloud in your life's sky. Iseneca once wisely stated, True friendship is always serene in the STCE of social pleasantries. The superficially friendly are not the ones who waltz in the rhythm of Ginu connection. They might remember your birthday, sir, but would they be there when the kake crumblish there? Friendship akin to a thin veil of mist may vanish at the first stroke of reality. So as you navigate through life's myriad relationships, arm yourself with discernment. Don't be swayed by the superficial charm. Seek those who value depth over breadth. For in the grand tapestry of life, it's the stitches of genuine bonds that hold the fabric together not the fleeting threats of shallow acquaintances for the inattentive a listener. Now let's talk about a character as come on in our daily lives as smartphones. This is the person who nods along in a conversation, their eyes glazed over, probably planning their dinner, rather than listening to what you're saying, you might as well be talking to a wall. Right? But here's the twist. While it's easy to get frustrated with this modern-day statue, remember the words of SIA to be everywhere is to be nowhere in our world, of endless notifications and digital distractions. The inattentive listener is a reminder to Val Value, the art of listening now. Imagine you're sharing a story close to your heart and there they are scrolling through their phony like it's the latest bestseller. It's like playing tennis against a curtain. No rally, no game. This isn't just about respect, it's about connection. If someone can't spare a moment from their screen to dive into a real conversation with you, why should you invest your words and time? Life's too short to be background noise to someone's screen time. So next time you encounter the inattentive listener, don't just stand there feeling undervalued. Take a cue from the Stoic playbook. Respect your own time and words enough to walk away, after all, as Marcus Aurelius wisely noted. It's not that we have little time, but more that we waste a good deal of it. Don't let the inattentive listener turn your time into, into something forgettable. 5. The empathy lacking individual navigating through life's intricate web. We often encounter those who seem to have misplaced their empathy. Compass picture this, someone who finds it as easy to deceive for a quick gain as it is for the rest of us, to breathe a chilling thought, isn't it? These are the folks who stride through life's puddles without caring who gets splashed, their radar for understanding others' feelings as well, on a permanent vacation. This detachment from empathy doesn't just raise a red flag, it hoists a whole banner. Trust is a delicate bird, and in the hands of the empathy lacking, it's like a fragile egg always at risk of being crushed. A wise Stoic once said, What brings no benefit to? The hive brings none to the bee. This quote mirrors the essence of, of our journey with the empathy challenge they operate, solo buzzing around without considering the hive. Their actions solely focused on personal gain often leave a trail of dismay. Trusting such individuals is akin to giving them a map to our vulnerabilities, a risky venture indeed. As modern-day Stoics, our challenge is to recognize these traits and maintain a healthy distance. By doing so, we not only protect ourselves but also set an example of conscious, considerate living.
Remember, it's not just about avoiding harm, it's about fostering a community where empathy and trust are not endangered species. Six, the constant irritator, there's a unique character type. You might bump into the constant irritator picture this. Someone who thrives on stirring the pot, never missing a chance to needle or nudge you. They're the masters of the subtle jab, a kind of emotional ninja throwing tiny darts that might not hurt, individually, but over time they add up, you know, the type always right, never in doubt, forever, ready with a comment or a smirk that gets under your skin. It's like they have a PhD in provocation. But here's the kicker. They do it so smoothly, you might even question if it's happening. Don't fall for it. This is their game. They ina, they dance around weaving doubts and irritation. And guess what? You don't have to play. Marcus Alas wisely stated, you have power over your mind, not outside events realize this, and you will find strength. This is your mantra. When dealing with the constant irritator, they might try to ruffle your feathers, but remember, your mind is your territory guard, it fiercely. You're smarter than their tricks. When they push, don't push back. Step aside, let their words float by, like clouds on a windy day. You're the calm in the storm, the unshakable center, and that, my friend, is real power. The next time they come at you with their sly comments, smile, nod, and move on. You're playing a different game. One of wisdom, peace, and unknown yielding strength. Seven, the eternal victim beware, the trap of the eternal victim. A character in life's grand play who seems forever ends, snared in misfortune's grip. This person's story is a relentless stream of woes, with each day bringing a fresh batch of troubles they wear. They're suffering like a badge. Yet oddly, they're stuck in a cycle of inaction. Complaining becomes their comfort zone, a strange symphony of groans and gripes to anyone with an earshot. But here's the twist. Their troubles are often self-crafted like a captain who ignores the compass. They sail into storms of their own making, yet wonder why the seas are never calm. Marcus Aurelius once observed, Our life is what our thoughts make it this. Rings true, especially for the eternal victim. Their narrative, a concoction of pessimism and passivity, is a self-affing prophecy. Offering a hand to help might seem noble, but tread carefully, engage too deeply, and their whirlpool of problems might drag you down. It's a delicate dance balancing empathy with self-preservation. So when you encounter this archetype, remember, to keep your feet firmly on the ground, your journey is yours to steer, and while the seas of life are unpredictable, your ship needn't follow another's mis misguided course. 8. The two-faced individual now let's move on to the eighth character in our journey, the chameleon in human guise, the master of masks, the two-faced individual, they'll dazzle you with their sparkling smile and honeyed words, only to turn around and smear your name in mud. The moment your back is turned, you'll find them weaving a web of rumors not just about you, but about anyone within earshot their specialty. A seamless switch from a warm chuckle to a cold stab of betrayal. It's like watching a skilled actor accept the stages. Your life in the drama is all too real in the words of Sena. Associate with those who will make a better man of you. This quote is particularly fitting when dealing with the two-fey individual. Instead of getting entangled in their web of deceit, choose to surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Cut off the ties with those who bring negativity and duplicity into your life. It's not about being harsh, it's about being prudent. You're not only protecting your reputation but also nurturing your mental well-being. Remember a friend who betrays your trust is more dangerous than open enemy. Trust forms the foundation of every meaningful relationship and its absence leaves nothing but instability. Stand firm, make the brave decision and step away. This isn't just withdrawing, it's moving forward towards a life enriched with truth and genuine connections. 9. The toxic individual TR is a treese or not to be handed out like free samplers at a grocery store. And when it comes to the toxic individual, think of trust as a luxury. They can't afford this character. Lurking in the shadows of relationships is like a rain cloud on a sunny day. They have a talent for turning bright smiles into frowns, often leaving a trail of doubt and insecurity. 
Picture this, you're building a sand castle of self-esteem, and along comes the top toxic individual, ready to kick it over with a foot of negativity, trusting them. That's like giving them a bigger foot. Now let's hear from a Stoic on this epic Titus once said, it's not what happens to you but how you react to it. That matters. Facing a toxic individual is like being in a stormy sea. You can't control the waves, but you can learn to surf. Remember, this person might be battling their own emotional hurricanes. It's wise to handle them with a long-handled spoon, close enough to offer for an umbrella, but far enough to avoid getting drenched. Ultimately, keeping your own boat steady is what counts. Trust in others can be beneficial, but it should be approached with discernment, especially when dealing with the toxic individual. Trust is not a one C is fits all. It needs to be tailored to the individual and the situation. It's like giving someone a key to your house. You wouldn't give it to just anyone, right? You'd only give it to someone who has proven they'll respect your space. And not turn your living room into a circus. Similarly, trusting others should be based on their track record of respect, integrity, and positive influence in your life. It's about finding that sweet spot between naivety and skepticism in a nutshell. Try trust wisely and selectively, especially when the toxic individual is in the picture. Thank you, you, for journeying with us through this exploration of trust and character. If you found value in these insights, remember that wisdom grows when shared. So do us a favor, spread this knowledge to your loved ones, like subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell to stay updated with more wisdom. We love to hear from you too. Leave a comment below if you're not sure what to say. Here's a simple but powerful phrase to share, trust wisely, respect deeply. Let these words be a guiding principle in our quest for meaningful relationships and self-growth. Stay stoic and keep growing.